Namaste friends. Today I am going to talk to you about uh, one of the world's best foliar technology and foliar products available for Indian farmers. Before that, I am sure you are all taking care of yourself under COVID using all the safety uh, guidelines, uh, following all the safety guidelines. Be safe. Uh, when I talk about foliar fertilizers, uh, before that, uh, there is, uh, uh, when we look at uh, the Indian fertilizer scenario, always we talk about our fertilizer use efficiency is very low and we need to increase the fertilizer use efficiency, right? Uh, fertilizer use efficiency looks a very complicated term, but it's a very easy thing. It is something like... Uh, the, the mileage of our motorbike or mileage of a car. How much kilometers we get per liter of a petrol. So what is the output we get per kg or per ton of a fertilizer is a fertilizer use efficiency. Uh, why there is a need of increase in the fertilizer use efficiency? And as a country, we don't have the raw materials required for the fertilizer. Uh, especially phosphorus and potash we import from the other countries. We spend a lot of money in importing this and uh, uh, which uh, to provide it to the farmers to make farmers sustainable, to make the farmer uh, agriculture profitable, government is providing a certain amount of subsidies to this. The subsidy goes to the extent of 80,000 crore to 130,000 crore sometimes and uh, it is a huge burden on the government. Especially under the situation like COVID, the post-COVID uh, economic situation, uh, every activity, every stakeholder needs to take care of uh, take care of the uh, economic uh, betterment of the country. Under this condition, all the stakeholders in the fertilizer sector, that is, fertilizer industry, extension companies, and the farmer, are uh, we are now to think about the fertilizer efficiency. When I talk about the fertilizer use efficiency, to, uh, there is an internationally uh, well-known uh, framework, uh, 4R framework, that is R, 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 R. It is very simple. Right source of fertilizer, right quantity of fertilizer, applied at right time, applied at right place, gives a better efficiency. Very simple. When I, when I call a right source, uh, right source of fertilizer is having less chloride, less sodium and available form and better solubility and lesser uh, heavy metals and better uh, efficiency. So water soluble fertilizers, 100% water soluble fertilizer is what we call is the solution for this 4R framework. One of the solutions for the 4R framework. When I look at a better source as a water soluble fertilizer, better source as a chelated micronutrient from the sulfate form, when I move from uh, DAP to uh, either triple 19 or 1261 0, 0, 50 to 30, MOP to SOP or urea source to nitrate source of fertilizer, either triple 19 or 13045 having the nitrate form of N. So this is a shift towards better source of fertilizer. Right source of fertilizer. When I talk about right quantity, we should follow the recommended dose, not the dose recommended just by anybody else in the market, like three bags, four bags. Instead of that, we should look at the university recommendation or any agriculture uh, organization recommendation and follow it. Third is right time and right place. There are two important methods which have been practiced in India and practiced widely globally are fertigation and foliar. Fertigation is nothing but applying uh, the fertilizers, especially we define it as a water soluble fertilizer since the solubility is high through micro irrigation system, through drip irrigation system is a fertigation. Most of our uh, horticulture and high value crops in India are using the water soluble fertilizers as a fertigation. The another method is a foliar. It is applying a nutrient solution, especially the water soluble fertilizers on the leaf surface. You know, when I apply the fertilizers on the leaf surface, it's called as a foliar spray. In India, it is not a very uh, widely accepted method today. 
out of around 2 lakh 10000 of total water soluble market we are selling around 40000 as an industry of four year fertilizers around 20% of and uh, look at a potential is very very huge the crops like cotton pulses then oil seeds uh, vegetables horticulture crops plantation crops all these crops can get benefit of foliar application why should we use foliar See, when there is a root is not able to take the nutrient because roots will only drink the fertilizer. Roots will not eat the fertilizer. Right? When there is no sufficient moisture, when the roots are damaged, very high temperature or a very low temperature, very cold conditions prevailing in the soil, the uh, nutrients will not be taken by the plant. Second is, during the critical stages, I mean critical stages are a flush, high vegetative growth, then there is a reproduction like flowering, energy is coming out, there is a fruit setting and when it goes into the maturity. These levels, these critical uh, conditions, these critical stages require more nutrients. So the plant may not be able to take it from the soil because of the soil dynamics or because of the plant physiology itself, because of the agroclimatic condition, the plant may not be able to take all these things. So the foliar nutrient becomes a complementary nutrient method to give a uh, major uh, secondary and uh, micronutrient to the plant through the leaf surface, right? So when I talk about this, uh, when, when we go for a foliar application, uh, the present uh, water solubles available with the industry or the old water soluble fertilizer, I am, I, because I am talking about ICL's next generation technology available in the world, so I call it as a regular water soluble. From the bulk we move to the water soluble, that is a regular water soluble fertilizers. Uh, when we spray them, what happens? When I spray the water soluble fertilizer, because of the surface tension of the droplet, the droplets will be bigger. Even though I spray the regular water soluble fertilizers and ICL technology, there will be different size particles. The larger size of the particles will have a lesser surface contact of the leaf. Right? Also, there is a probability that they roll down and fall down from the leaf. They will not spread. Just look at, uh, you are spreading a butter on the bread. When you spread very thin to the entire surface of the bread, it is a better spread. If you just put it at the one corner, when you start eating, sometimes you eat the bread without butter and some area it is a more better. So, there is a need, it should be spread evenly uniformly across the leaf surface. Second is, these nutrients, the, the leaf doesn't like the any liquid because it's a wax surface on it. So it tries to repel the nutrient solution to go away. So there needs a sticker. The sticker should be there. So that's the second problem. Third is, the leaf tissues are very, very typical. They don't uh, allow the higher part of the nutrients to go inside. That is the lesser penetrant. So the droplet sizes, the less sticking and the less penetration, these are the three problems identified which are inhibiting, which are limiting the efficiency of the foliar application. Then the world's finest uh, specialty manufacturing company, Globe's best company, worked with a Ben Gurion University of Tel Aviv and developed a technology called a Fertivant technology. Fertivant is a special type of adjuvant which has got a spreader, which has got a sticker, which has got a penetrant. So we have got seen three problems. Here we have got three solutions. Three solutions for three problems. So all these three solutions put together, bundled as a Fertivant technology, Israel Chemicals Limited came up with a a uh, nutrient range of water soluble fertilizers specially for a foliar application. If you look at anybody in the industry, just uh, pack the same water soluble uh, which goes into fertigation, which goes into 25 kg, they will pack it into 1 kg and uh, it goes as a foliar. But the nutrient series of ICLs is a technology driven for the foliar, specially designed for the foliar with the three advantages. You can remember the Trishula, you know, the three technology, the three in one. This technology will help to increase the efficiency of the fertilizer. 
to help the better uptake and increase the uh, productivity, uh, yield and quality of the uh, output. We have conducted number of trials globally in India also in different universities on different season, different crops and we have observed 18% to 32% of yield increase in different trials. With two sprays and with the four sprays we have a different trials conducted. Uh, all the reports available with us uh, which shows the efficacy of this product. Uh, then we look at the uh, entire crop's life cycle as a four parts. You know, uh, when we say the Balya, Yovana, Vanaprastha and Vradha like uh, human life cycle uh, stages, there is a four life cycles in any plant, in any crop. Vegetative, where it uh, roots and shoots, then uh, reproductive, uh, blossoming energy color, then fruit, the fruit setting, then it goes into harvest, the final stage, where it starts giving returns to the growers. Considering the specific requirement at the different life cycle, because the activity done by the plant at different life cycle is different, naturally. So we have given a different formulas. The first one is a starter formula with the trace elements with the small micronutrients. The second formula is a booster formula with the trace elements. Third formula is the piquant with the uh, trace element formula. Fourth is the fruit one. At the fourth stage we need little uh, better grade of better dose of the calcium because uh, the fruit quality, the color, the shine, the final touch, you know, the coloring of the house. When you do all the house construction, finally we will do the final touch up that is done by the calcium. So at the fourth stage with the calcium. These are different NPK grades with the trace element. Starter, booster, piquant and fruit one. These are the four brands, the nutrient brands which is uh, made available to the Indian farmers for the foliar sprays. Friends, the dosage uh, is from 5 grams to 10 grams based on the crop condition, uh, the crop growth condition and the agroclimatic conditions and uh, uh, the crop vegetative uh, entire canopy, 5 grams to 10 grams per liter. We have a uh, uh, schedules uh, derived and uh, designed for different crops which is available uh, with ICL representatives and with us uh, it is even available uh, it will be available in our social media also uh, in very short period of time so you can uh, look at the israel's innovation you know israel is regarded as one of the country which has got uh, good innovation in a uh, number of fields like agriculture military computers and uh, research you know agriculture it is known in the world global globally it is a known technology so these products have given a very good results to the farmers in different crop conditions. Uh, you can use and you can always share your feedback. Thereby we are doing our bit to increase the efficiency and to get better returns and helping the entire agri community to get a better uh, productivity. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks for your time.